What's the fuss? The intrusion into Jewish settlements on the 6th of October this year by Hamas and the slaughter of innocents by them again reminded the world of the horrors of terrorism. While most countries have denounced this attack by Hamas, the promises made to the Palestinians as ratified by the United Nations on various occasions continue to be denied to them. This event has really disturbed me as it has millions of others across the globe. Having lived in India for a significant part of my life, I have acknowledged that my choices have been influenced by the self-interests of the period's politics, which largely remained non-aligned and offered the choices I, like many others, selected, like supporting the liberation of the Palestinians, having been convinced of their right to self-governed homeland, supported the struggle led by Ho Chi Minh for a free Vietnam, and among some other choices I made, supported the Tibetans in their struggle against the continued occupation of their country. What really disturbed me was Biden's statement, which, while supporting Israel's right to protect its citizens, mentions the right of the United States of America to safeguard its own self-interests in the Middle East. This sounds like echoes from the past when the French and British carved the Middle East to exploit its oil, gas, and other resources in the region, and while expanding its markets, also ensured the local politics to be subservient to their own. After years of war in this region, what exactly are the United States and Western interests in the Middle East, for which they need to ensure the removal of all dissent when they could simply negotiate fair deals for the products and services they require? This continued policy of bullying through a proxy is not to spread democracy and human rights in the world, but on the contrary, to enforce the Western capitalistic culture that drives profit for the few businesses that prop up elected governments. The Western Alliance has not yet learned its lessons from the engagements in Yemen, Somalia, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, Vietnam, Korea, Pakistan, China, Russia, the Philippines, African Franco and Anglo-ruled nations, and Ukraine, and continues walking the same vicious path that will eventually lead to its losing its popularity amongst all nations.